So as you know, Barack Obama has always been talking about how he's going to reform the health care. So I want to hear your opinion about the health care, both in your country and the view about the health care you see in America. So let's start with Sonia. As from Togo, a very poor country in West Africa, we have public health which means for us a lot, because not everybody can really afford to pay anything in the hospital. Here, if you go to the hospital, the first question sh they ask you is if you have insurance. But what I came from, they don't really care what you have before you come, but it's more of the service they can offer you, because you came for a reason. But as Obama came, he was worrying about how can he fix that so poor people, not America is not like a poor country, that people still can afford health care because it's still expensive for everyone. Thank you, Thank Sonia. You. So what do you think, Ramis? Um, in my country, in Jordan, everybody is automatically like under health insurance. Like if I have any problem, I just go to any governmental, public hospital, I just can get the treatment I want. So without worrying about uh, if I have a, a, a health care insurance or not. Now, if I have insurance, this would give me an access to a better private hospitals. But what I find here corresponds, in the States, corresponds with my first point, saying that what Obama was saying is only promises because I think there are like lobbyists in the Congress, there are multinational companies, oil multinational companies, pharmaceutical multinational companies, weapon multinational companies, and they all have their economic interests which conflict with the promises that Obama made to the public. So even if Obama was honest or not honest, this is not the issue, even if he was honest about his promises, there are other pressure groups and lobbyists that are playing role in taking the decision in the Congress and so, I mean, yeah, this so might be like a problem for the Americans because they have all this money, but the, the money goes to the, I mean, they have access to the Iraqi oil, they have access to the gas in Afghanistan, and we didn't see this much effect on economic situation of the Americans. On the other hand, it's deteriorating like time by time, oh, day by day. Okay, I see what I mean. So what do you think, uh, Swen? Um, compared to America, health insurance programs are pretty good. It's based on individuals' income. So some people argue with some aspect of Korea's health insurance program, but pretty much they cover everything. Yeah. So what do you think, Bruno? I think people here from United States, they are more concerned to call Obama as socialist than to care about the benefits of this new politics about the health care. They are more focused in the change in the attitude of Obama and not of the benefits they will gain with these changes. And in Brazil, hospitals are for free for everyone. Everyone can go to the hospital for free. Glad to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're a foreigner, that's no problem. But that doesn't make Brazil a socialist country. <laughs> We're still a capitalism country, even with free health care. Actually, we have our problems with the free hospitals. Like my mother had a spine problem. Mm -hmm. She wants to operate, made a surgery in the spine. And in the public hospital, she has to wait like two years at least to make the surgery. Wow. And, but in privacy hospitals, he, he, they can make suddenly an instant. In. So she, does she have to pay more for the private hospital as yes, well? Yes, in the public hospital will cost like $500 because it's a dedicated surgery. So and the, mm -hmm. and oh. in the privacy hospital is like $5,000. Wow. So what do you think of uh, that, Bador? Um. I don't know. I think uh, the American government should take the uh, health issue more seriously because uh, we're in Saudi Arabia. Every Saudi person uh, is eligible to f for free uh, health care. Uh, I have an experience here also. I Like a year ago, I gave birth my, to my daughter here in the hospital in Pittsburgh. And... Uh, uh, after like a month, uh, the hospital send, uh, sent us uh, the bill. It was like for, uh, we had to pay like $15,000. Oh. 
and uh, seriously, and I didn't even have a C-section. It was natural, and um, I said I stayed at the hospital like three days, and uh, if it weren't for the Saudi governments, we were so in, we would be in trouble. Um, Arabia government help you to pay for the money? Covered all every yeah. penny of them? Yes. Yeah, uh, because I came here to, um, in a scholarship, so they oh, basically. That's cool. So basically, pay you don't have everything. even to buy a healthcare yeah. insurance here. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So, what do you think, uh, Smile, in Taiwan? Well, uh, uh, there is an example of me because uh, there is a guy, he's from Taiwan, and he's, when he was playing basketball, he broke his leg like this. February, and then he waited until the summer vacation and went back to Taiwan to see the doctor. Wait for three months because for the because the payment here is too expensive. But actually, we pay the student insurance. But we still don't know why that you know the payment is so high. That's why every when I come to America and all of my friends they talk to me, don't be sick in America. Yeah, like I think you the have dentist the same thing. You have like a broken tooth, you have to wait until you get yeah. to Taiwan and get fixed. Okay, so what do you think of that? Well, <clears throat> in Germany, um, health insurance is also mandatory for everyone. So everyone is insured basically. Every um, citizen of Germany or every person who lives there uh, has free health insurance basically so you can, whatever you have you go to the hospital you just pay 10 euros and even if you have cancer that's maximum you pay and I think that's very very important what I see here in America is that the people see health or not the people but the people who run the the, the health uh, things are they do they see health as a business that is yeah I think the capitalistic idea should not be uh, yeah, used in health matters. So I think health should be free because it's it's very important that everybody is healthy, and you should not pay fifteen thousand dollars if you give birth to your kid. That's like who can afford that? So um, I think what Obama, the pro biggest problem he's going to face right now is um, to get something where he can pay the actual health insurance program and um, get the idea of the people's head that health is a business and you should you know. Ri mm -hmm. rip off other so people. I have a question for you. I, I guess some of the American fellows going to ask you, do you think it's really fair, like even some people who doesn't work very hard and they are poor and they can get really good health care? Do you think it's fair for the people who work so hard? And um, I give you a question back. Do you want to let them see suffer just because you don't want to pay 100 bucks more tax per month? Do you just want to sit there and watch him die because he can't afford cancer treatment? Good question. Okay, so what do you think, uh, Aditi? Um, even in my country, India, health insurance is free, although I don't know how many people actually use the public hospitals. Coming from the social economic background that I am from, I, it's not like the super rich are the only ones that go to private hospitals, even the median income. Uh, do use the private hospitals because even those aren't very expensive. They are slightly more expensive than the public hospitals, but they're still affordable. If you can say that you don't have bankruptcies like there are in America just because somebody, somebody gave birth felt to a sick. baby. Um, baby, yeah, that, that really scared me. So, and I have the same story that I had to fix something with my teeth and I waited eight months to actually go back home to get basic things like, you know, dentists and other health checkups done just to go to India. And that's, I just have a question is, this is always on my mind ever since healthcare as a question was raised, even in the elections and after he was elected is that, I don't understand one thing is that America is probably, it is, it is a superpower, it is so rich and the mentality here is enriching oneself. And I know that the country is rich, the people as a whole are rich. But what is the point of having all that wealth and not having basic necessities like healthcare or a good secondary school system?